We got about a minute to go. Y'all know what we're going to be practicing. Good morning, everybody. Got a, got a good group in here today. Looks like everybody's starting to show up. Ronnie B. Are you there, Ronnie B? Hello, Ronnie. Good morning, Todd. Good morning, Randy. How y'all doing this morning? Man, cool. We're all we're, we're real good here. How about yourself? Where I stand, got a little ice on the road today, a little oh. ice on the sidewalks, on ice on the store steps, everywhere. Mm. But anyway, we're going to get started. I, I started out my music this morning, old Shaka Khan. I was playing it early this morning when Dan and I got together. I, it, it, tell me something good. We're going to be talking about that again. We're going to take off where we uh, where we quit last week. And I don't think, did everybody get to practice just last week with doing this tell me something good when we're calling back to customers if anybody didn't get to practice i want to hear from you because I, I want everybody to be able to work this and and let's let's have comments on it and make sure everybody has a good time doing this when they call back this is um what i wanted to talk a little bit about too is uh i've got my screen up there and if you notice i've highlighted some some words on there some some sentences on the on there and you'll see the first up at the top in box one is in green is that a TS a TMSG which is tell me something good. I want everybody to pay attention to that as as we go through this little training exercise here, a little practicing that we're going to do, and then I want everybody to look down at the bottom in that conversation for action down there. And you, what you'll see is what I want to do is, and the reason is, and I have this done by this and this. this I want you to look at all those things I highlighted. Those are power statements to me. That's what I call them. Uh, it's where you actually are taking control. You're actually committing yourself and, and making the request and everything that you're doing for the customer. This is what I want to do. This is how, this is why I want to do it. And this is when I'll have it done. Um, I, and today I want to practice on that particular emphasize on that just a little bit, because I think that that's where we take, and take this power, this really good language that we've been using this entire time. And we take and begin to use it. And when we do, what we'll find out is, is that the customer responds to it in a, in a real positive way because they want somebody to help them in making a decision on how to make this go down right. And by you doing that, I think it really shows that you are in control. You can take the, and get their car fixed and you have a plan in place to make it happen. And if you just kind of haphazardly go, well, I, I might be able or I can't, uh, I don't know, but maybe if you do all that, you're not in control. OK, and you're not doing what they want to hear. So let's let's go through this and do a little practicing with it. We got quite a few here and I'm, I'm, I'm really digging the fact that we got 11 people on here. OK, already this early this morning. So I, what I'm going to do. Good morning, Linda. I see you're good in morning. there. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. So what I want to do is, is I'm going to start out at the top. Uh, JJ, I know you're driving, but I mean, you've had this discussion, so I'm going to let you uh, come in and and uh, talk a little bit this morning, okay? Are you with me? I know you're the first one to log in this yeah. morning. Okay. Yeah, I'm with you. What we're going to do is I'm going to uh, – Brian is here, and Brian is going to be the caller. And what he's going to do, he's just going to call you, and I mean, you're, you're going to call him back. Excuse me. Let me rephrase that. You're going to call Brian back. You're going to ring-a-ling Brian, and then you're going to say, hey, Brian, this is JJ. Listen, I've completed the break job. Uh, or whatever, I've completed your oil change, and these I found a few things I want to do, and uh, I'm going to talk to you about it, but before I get there, I want you to give him all the good read things you found with his vehicle. You got that? And then yes, talk sir. to, and then bring in the fact of this is what I want to do, okay, and this is why I want to do it, and I'll have it done by this particular time. I know you can't see your screen, you're driving. So you're going to be pretty much the, the wing it guy here, okay? Okay. So, I know we've practiced this. We'll just move smoothly and say, see how we can do it. And we'll, you'll set the pace for everybody else. Okay, call Brian. Ring a ling a ling. Hello. Oh, is this Brian? Yes, sir. Hey, Brian, this is JJ over here, same day auto repair. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I was doing all right till you called. 
Well, I got some good news, buddy. <laughs> we are done with your oil change, all right? Only thing uh-huh. I found, found a few things that, you know, we do our free 25-point inspection on every oil change. We want you to know what's going on with your car. Well, first of all, your air filter it needs to be replaced. We need to replace that. Second is your front brakes. Uh, they're down about two millimeters, and we can still save your rotors. Uh, I'd like to do that all together out the door, Brian. We're looking at three twenty three ninety five. How's that sound, uh, buddy? Not that bad. And plus, sir, I want to tell you something, Brian. On our brake pads, you will not have to buy those again. Okay, buy them once. That's it. We'll warranty them for the rest of your car's life. Okay. Uh, that sounds good. <laughs> stop. I'm gonna stop you there just a minute, uh, JJ. Now listen. This is good practice, okay? You don't have anything in front of me, guys. Uh, if you've got paperwork, I want you to pull it and put it in front of you. Because this is, again, this is a practicing model that we're practicing here. This is a basic moves. JJ, when you start out up there, I want you to, I knew you said, good news. I, we got through with your oil change, and we checked this. Your wiper blades are in great shape. Uh, we, we actually rotated your tires. You know, we told you to do that for free. We checked all your suspension components. Everything, all your shock absorbers, everything looks great. The steering linkage, all is great. I want you to name up everything that you know that the report has come back that has good, 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 good. I want you to do as much as that, not item for item, but I want you to give him a great feeling about this car. All right. And then, and then I don't want you to say what we need to do. I don't want you to say that you've got a little bit of wear. I don't want you to say that. What you, I want you to move straight into is that a call for action. Okay and say listen however this is what i want to do today okay i want you to get those words in your bones this is what i want to do today i want to fix the brake pads it's basic maintenance the pads are worn down to an area that we don't feel comfortable with and what i want to do is i want to replace those i want to machine the rotors and the reason is is because when we do this you'll have a warranty on those pads for life you see my point JJ's a, a, a more dramatic, okay? And listen, the good news is I can still have it done by 3 o'clock today, like I told you. When you come to pick it up, I'll have all that done, and it's only going to cost you $329.79. Now, you can come by and pick it up then, or you can come by and pick it up later. Which one do you prefer? You see what I'm trying to say? Do something like that so it puts a little bit more emphasis on the fact that that that's how you're going to do it. Now, with that being said, I'm going to move down. I'm going to go down to Fair and Cruz. I'm, not, I'm just going to give you that little pointer, sir. Okay, JJ? All right, buddy. Now, let's listen to Fair and Cruz. Now, Fair and you are you in the office already? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. You got your paperwork in front of you? Uh, a little bit. Best I got. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see your screen. All right. Well, don't worry about your paperwork. Okay. Just get look at the screen. Okay. Now, look, Farron, you heard me do a little bit of coaching to JJ there. Let's take it and you do it in your way, and we'll coach you. And if we need to, we'll coach you too. Okay, go ahead. Call me. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Brian. This is Farron calling you back from Triple T Tire in Dyersburg, man. How you doing? All right. How are you? I'm doing great. Hey, uh, we did that 32 point inspection like we said we was going to do on your F 150 there. Uh, looks like everything turned out to be good. Your uh, air filter looks good. Uh, we did. Uh, we also uh, vacuumed it out for you for courtesy. Uh, but your uh, air filter looks good. Your blinker fluid looks good. All that right there looks good. Only thing I notice is the brakes are wearing a little bit. And by the way, Brian, you don't have blinker fluid. I was just throwing that out there messing with you. <laughs> I don't know uh, about that, but I figured if it's good, I won't worry about it. <laughs> but uh, I did notice we do need to do some uh, front brakes on it and rotors. Uh, I can do it right there for 389 I can have them here by 12 o'clock. Like I told you, we'd have it out of here by 1, 1 o'clock, 1.30. I can get started on that right now. I just need an okay from you. Uh, yeah, I guess let's do it. I know I needed front brakes. I didn't think the rotors were bad, but uh, if they are, I guess it's got to be done, huh? Yes, sir. Sounds great. I'll go ahead and get them on the way, Brian. All righty. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Very, very so, good. Uh, what time uh, should I be there? One thirty. 
One thirty. All right, I'll do it. Thanks. Yes, sir. Bye. All right. Now, what Brian, what Brian was doing there, fair and exactly what I was going for. What I want you to do is, you see me doing that right there. I want you to keep. I want you to ramp up your energy level just a little bit. I know it's early, but mm -hmm. I want you to think about that constantly. The people don't care whether it's early or not. Okay, they want to know if you can help them, and I want you to have to bring that energy that you have. And you, you saw me do it a little squiggly line up there. I wanted you to to know. I wanted you to keep don't go up, go up, go up, go up. Keep get excited. Okay, get excited right. about the fact that he's got something good. You got something good to tell him. Listen, guys, it, it, let's, let's just pretend that, that you had – Dan Malloy shared something with this morning. It was very um, dramatic. He hadn't called this guy in a long time. And he when he when he the guy answered the phone, he went straight for his juggler because they were friends. And he said, hey, this is Dan Malloy. I want you to know I can take you to the hoop. I can, I can, I can slam dunk it right in front of you. You know what I'm trying to say? And he had the guy laughing before he even made any comment to him, okay? So if you take that energy and you take it to the phone and you make that call to this particular client, okay, let's say he's been a good client and you've been coming for a long time, it's easier because you have a relationship built up, right? You have some some com some connection with them, freedom of expression, so it's easier to talk about. But that is when it's really dramatic. But when you take it with a new client that you've never done business before, now you're calling them back for the very first time. If you were to use that energy and you're going to go, hey, Brian, this is Randy down here at Same Day Auto Repair. Listen, sir, I got some great news for you. Don't give him a chance to say, how are you doing? Okay? Just go straight in. And when he says hello, he says, hey, Brian, this is this is Randy down here at Same Day Auto Repair. Listen, I got some great news on your vehicle. What do you think he's going to do on the other end of the phone? He's going to say, dang, they must be all primed up down there. Well, yeah, he said, I got <laughs> I got some great news, man. I got I, this is outstanding, okay. And just kind of go over the top. This is a practice about going over the top, okay. In your in your introduction, now, I know everybody on this call has got it. We've all laughed about, about how much energy y'all can bring to the table. So with that being said, we're going to move on down to Bailey. Bailey, are you with me? <laughs> Hello. Yes, Bailey. sir. I'm all right, here. Bailey. This is the hey. This is your this is your game here, buddy. Okay. This is all about you. So you call, have you got your game together? What you going to sell, Mr. Brian? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Let's talk that, Bailey. Make, make us have some fun. All right, here we go. Ring a ring a ring. Hello. Hey, Brian, this is Jeff over at Triple T. You got a sec? Uh, yep, sure. Hey, man, just completed that oil change. My assessment is, is you take thorough good care of your car. You do great preventive maintenance. Um, listen, what I want to do today is uh, I want to replace your pads, man, and machine your rotors. Uh, I can have this done by, oh, about 3 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, I, you can come in or I can come pick you up. What, what's going what's to uh, be your best preference? Uh, yeah, I could get down there. You don't have to pick me up. Okay, uh, about three o'clock, I'll be finished, man, and uh, help you out any way I can. We'll take care of these. There's a 12 month, 24,000 mile warranty on these brakes, man. All right, it was just pads, huh? I'm going to machine the rotors, yes, sir. All right, perfect. Sounds like a plan. See you about three. You got it, thanks. Mm -hmm, bye bye. All right, now, uh, now, baby, look here. Let's do this one more time. This time, I want you to do the same exact thing, okay? Same exact thing, but when you when it hits that, where I want you to go back and do it the same way, call Brian, and this time uh, do the same repair, but this time I want you to do something different. Don't say, have you got a second, okay? Don't even do that this time. I just want to experiment here. I want you to go straight in. Hey, Brian, I got great news, okay? Th listen, we checked everything out on your car. You're taking great care of this car. As a matter of fact, if you want to sell it, I might be interested in buying it. I want you to do something like that, okay? And because this car is in excellent condition, all right? And then I want, if you're not doing an inspection, you're just looking at the brakes, okay? And that's all he came in for. And he didn't ask you for an inspection. And you can't say, hey, we inspected your car from head to toe. You can say, listen, we did a complete brake inspection. And this car is in great shape, by the way. I want to let you know that. Give him something that he can feel proud about and, and what is going on with this car. I don't care if it's the biggest piece of crap in the world. Tell him, hey, listen, I got good news. The car didn't fall off the rack, Okay. Tell him something good, okay? <laughs> make him make him sit back and go, okay, okay, this is gonna get good. I can hear this is going. This might be better. I might have a better day than I thought I was gonna have, okay? And then when you go down the conversational action, say, listen. However, this is what I want to do today. 
okay? This is what I want to do, and it is this, and this is why, and when you I get done, you'll have a, uh, a warranty of this kind on there. I want you to put all that in there before you get to, listen, I've got a price of this amount, uh, uh, and I can have it done by this time. I want you to get that in there, okay, so that you begin to feel it, and that it's okay to do those things. So let's do it one more time with you, Bailey. Go ahead, call him again. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Brian, this is Jeff over at Triple T. Hey, man, I completed that uh, uh, brake check for you. Your front pads are getting just a little bit thin, so this is what I want to do today. You take great care of that car. Uh, you do preventive maintenance on it. It looks like uh, you do this uh, quite regularly. Uh, hey, by the way, if you're interested in selling that little Jill, I'd be in the market. Um, <laughs> <laughs> never, never. Oh, man, it's a sweet ride. All right. Uh, what I want to do today, man, is uh, put some pads on there and machine your rotors. Uh, I can do this for about $225 and I can have it done by 3 o'clock. You may come get you or pick you up. What would you prefer? Uh, no, you don't need to get me. I can get over there. It's no problem. Sounds good to me. All right, man. Appreciate that. See you about 3 o'clock. You got it. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Mm, wow. Hey, Brian, what did that feel like? <laughs> what did that feel like, Brian? Charming. Uh, it was pretty cool, wasn't it? And I don't know what everybody else said. Baby, baby, what did it feel like to you to do that? Did you feel like that's you, though, really? That's you, isn't it? It is with my regular customers that come in go. all the time up here. What makes what makes you think that the guy that's calling is not your regular customer for the first time? I, I live in a small town, man. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's just take it to the next level, okay? Because that's what you just did. You just did that. You, this guy had never met you before. I mean, one time he maybe called, came in, brought his car, and thought, "Here, I'm going to slide these keys across her real slow." The last time I let somebody take my car, it didn't turn out so well. You see, what? That's his demeanor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now he's sliding and he's trusting his car to you. Okay. Somebody's never met. What do you think his response is when you call him back and offer to buy his car from him? I mean, I mean, I'm I'm throwing that out there, but the reality is he's going to go, "Okay, this is different." You know. Well, if he's, ever, if he's ever passed my store, there's a used car lot next to me. Everybody thinks I own. So. Well, there you go. <laughs> he might want to sell it to you. Hey, just go over and sell it to the guy next door. Okay. Anyway, this is what I'm talking about. That was really smooth. Okay. I didn't feel like you overdid it. I didn't feel like you underdid it. I thought it was very good for that particular practice of what we're trying to do. Now, let's move on. Let's go down to uh, Jeremiah. Good morning. Good morning, Jeremiah. You've been listening, hadn't you? Yes, sir. All right. You got an idea, don't you? I sure do. Okay. This is what I want you to do. I want you to call Brian, and I want you to do it and uh, tell me something good for Ace, okay? I want to know something good about the car. I want you to tell him something good about it. It can elaborate if you want to, but move on down and then go straight down. This is what I want to do today, okay? This is why, and I'll have it done by whatever, okay? So go for it, Jeremiah. Ring a ling a ling. Ring a ling a ling. Hello. Hey, Brian. This is Jeremiah from BP Car Care Center. Just calling to let you know, brother, we got went ahead and got that oil change done. And I got great news, man. Your fluid maintenance, you are on top of that. This car is really in great shape. Um, overall, man, like I said, it's it's everything's looking really good. The only thing that we really ran across. Your two front tires are starting to get a little thin, so I would recommend replacing those, and I'd like to get that done for you today. Now, I have the same tire that you got on the vehicle now, the Goodyear all season. I can get a pair of those put on for you for right at 225 installed, and I can have it done by about 11 o'clock if that works for you. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. The backs were okay. Backs are still looking good, brother. I think what I'd like to do, actually, is whenever we change those two fronts, I'd like to rotate them to the back just so you start getting some even wear from those rear tires by bringing them to the front. And then we'll get you on a plan where every 6,000 miles you bring them in and rotate the tires. And every 6,000, we'll also inspect the brakes and give the vehicle a good once over. And that's going to help keep this vehicle running as great as it is now. All right. Sounds like a plan. All right, Brian. Well, I will be back in touch just as soon as it's done, but I think I can get it ready for you by 11 o'clock, okay? All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. We'll talk soon. Yeah. 
Bye-bye. Great approach, Jeremiah. That was an outstanding approach there, buddy. The way you did that up here at the top right here, that I thought that was really smooth. Um, and not only that, but when you went down to the conversation for action, if I was going to coach you on one thing, that I want you to uh, yes. pay, pay attention to the, the word right there, okay? What I would recommend, okay, now we do this all the time. I'm just as guilty as everybody about saying recommend, recommend, recommend. Well, the, the terminology here is, and what I want to do today, okay, I want you to get to where that's in your bones some. So put that up there. What I want to do today is – Put two new tires on there. I'm going to match the ones that you've got on there, okay? They're only going to cost you $227, and you could do that whole approach or whatever you went through again, okay? And you're telling the reason why, okay? And then go right on through it and then do just exactly like you did, and that is the, that would be the absolute beautiful, perfect type of callback to me, okay? But when Thank you take control, instead of I'm recommending it, okay, Take control. This is what I want to do today. What what could be the outcome on that? Could he say, well, listen, I don't really have the money to do it today. What's your comeback for that? Well, then we talk about financing. Yeah, payment plans. Hey, listen, don't worry about Absolutely. that. I've already yeah. checked. I can, I can put this in one of our payment plans, and you can pay it out over the next 90 days. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Well, in that case, let's get it done. Okay. All right, listen, I'm going to go ahead and send you this little link on your phone. You fill it out and get it back to me. I'll get the guy started. The reality is is that you know you're going, to, you're going to check probably before you get the tires put on there. Okay, you're not going to wait on him. I mean, you're not going to start putting it on there probably because you haven't got 100%. But the minute, the second you get the tap sap back and you get him approved, it doesn't matter where he's at, you're going to start the process, right? Exactly. There you go. Okay. How much better would that be than waiting on him to call his wife, okay, or calling I mean, you back with a decision or giving him a chance to go around shopping? You see my point? Right. Yes, sir. So when you take control of that call by saying, listen, this is what I want to do today. Now, you don't have to say it like that, but I've got to make sure you understand it. That's the power statement. I want to do this today. This is why I want to do it. This is how I want to do it. And this is what it's going to get, the outcome is going to be. This is why you're going to be so much more satisfied when I do this. Give him those good things, too. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Why aren't we been doing this for the last 20 years? We just we haven't been coached, okay? Haven't been taught. And so I think it's an outstanding approach. I have no problem with it myself. All right? Justin Milonarski, are you there? Hello, Justin. Hello, Justin. Are you speaking? I can't hear you. Okay, let's go down. Uh, we'll get back to Justin. Justin, chime in. Let me know you're there, even if it's interrupting, so you know that I can talk to you. I see you. I just can't hit, talk, hear you. Ronnie B. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Ronnie. Hey, hey listen, no. you know the approach, what we're doing here. So let me clear hey. my screen. Let me clear my screen just a minute. I see somebody texting me over here, too. Over there. Let me clear my Erase my drawings, and you call Brian. All right. Ring a ling a ling. Ring a ling a ling. Hello. Hey, Brian. How you doing, brother? All right. A little slow this morning. Sorry. Hey, that's okay. Hey, uh, we got your Ford F-150 in here. We discussed about this truck. Sell it, my friend. Sell it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's, in, it's in great shape. It really is. Um, we looked over the belt, brakes, hoses. Everything's in great shape. I know you're getting ready for fishing season and pulling that boat. I've checked the history on the stuff we've done. We've, we've serviced the transmission. We've serviced the radiator. And everything's in great shape. I do want to go ahead and service your differential, front and rear differential. We have not done that. And I know you've been pulling your boat for duck season. You're getting ready for fishing season. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and we'll get you fixed up. And we'll have you ready by 1.30 this afternoon. All right. How much? Uh, differential is about 159, uh, but you won't have to do it again for another 100,000 miles, my friend. So you're good to go, and I'll have you ready. All right. Sounds good to me. Yes, sir. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Okay, now, see, that was taking, that was making me feel good, making me laugh a little bit. Uh, I, I like that a lot. Okay, that introduction, the way you brought that conversation for relatedness and trust in up there at the top. That was great. Okay, you got down to the bottom and you did very, very well. Okay, and and you got down there to the bottom of that and you did it okay. 
Uh, there was something you said there, though, that threw me off just a little bit. I don't remember what it was, but I, I it just kind of went mm, like that just a little bit. OK, but that's OK, because you can't be a 100 percent, 100 percent of the time. And I know that I'm not asking everybody to be perfect. I'm asking you to get in there and you did exactly what I said. What I want to do is this. OK. And the reason is you're going to be pulling your boat. You're going to be going into the duck season. You know, I, that was outstanding. OK. I thought it was great. Anybody got any comment on that? What do you think, Brian? Uh, I liked it. I was going to add earlier, too. I think. Uh, don't underestimate that. Tell me something good like that little bit of good news or flattering or whatever, you know, definitely helps put the customer at ease a little bit, you know, and that makes little bit them, of makes them feel experience. like, you know, yeah, it makes you feel good. Like you're doing something right. You know, it gives you a little pride or something. Freedom of and expression it makes freedom you less defensive. You're not like, Oh, Oh, you are free to express yourself in that box right there. Okay, let them know how good you feel about what you're doing, what is happening, and how great you feel about their vehicle. And and here's the best part about it is I know what it was I was talking about back down there when I got down there. What I was talking about is is when you said uh, around $159. That's when I cringed just a little bit. Okay, here's why. If you got it nailed down to this penny. OK, it's more positive that you know exactly what it's going to be. I want you to think about that just a minute. If I said oh, it's only going to be one hundred fifty two dollars and twenty nine cents, that's including tax and everything. Doesn't that sound better than around one hundred fifty nine dollars? Anybody got any comment on that? What do you think? It sounds much better. I, I agree with you, Linda. If uh, I've, uh, from uh, from your point of view, Linda, I know you're the only. I think you're the only female we have on here today. Uh, and and 75, 80 percent of the people that we deal with are, are women. Okay, when you nail it down, women work in numbers a lot better sometimes than men do. So um, when I, I say that, I don't mean it negative. I mean that they are they're looking at everything as as a positive. Okay, they don't they won't look at anything as a negative. And so a uh, positive is, is that, hey, it's only going to be $159 and, and uh, 22 cents. Okay, that's tax and everything. No additional cost. Sounds better, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So, so put that in your mindset just a little bit. Before I call this customer, I want to go ahead and have everything, all my ducks in a row, because he's going duck hunting. You know what I'm trying to say? So I want to have all my ducks in a row. And I want to be sure that if, he, if I can tell him exactly the right amount right now, okay, it's a more positive move. It's more of a um, preventive move than it just is direct. You're being proactive instead of reactive to his questioning. Correct? How does that sound, Brian? I know Brian's deleted, not deleted, <laughs> muted. Well, how's that sound, Brian? Uh, it sounds good, but also, also, I guess from the customer standpoint, I don't want to hear all oh, 159, and then I get there and it's 199. So. Exactly. Well, he, if you go ahead and build the pricing up, you're more likely to stay with the pricing, too. If you say we're on 159 and it gets there and it's 162, he's going to say, I thought you said it's 159. Well, that's $3 difference, but it's a big deal to him. Okay. So I've always been a sticker of getting to the penny, down to the penny with my guys. Don't say around 150 bucks. Okay. Don't do that. Because when you do that, and I hear it, I cringe, because that puts in their mind, hey, and by the way, when we're saying this, I will react a little bit to, our payment plans, even though I know we got Jeff Tucker here, don't say, don't lock yourself into fifty dollars or forty dollars a month because things liable to change. You haven't gotten there yet, but you can say stuff like, "We have payment plans as low as forty dollars." You don't have to put the month in there, okay? If you put the month in there, that's all. Sometimes that may be all they hear. Now Jeff will talk to you about that a little bit, but be careful with that. But at the same time, what I want you to do is to have it down to the penny when you call them back with an estimate of what it's going to cost. I think it's very powerful in doing that. Okay, now let's move on just a little bit more. Uh, who else we got on here? Todd? Todd Carlson? Hello. That's me daily. Hey, Todd, you want to do hey. this real quick? You, sure. Ring-a-ling, O'Brien, and see what happens. Ring, ring, ring. 
Hello. Ringer. Hey, Brian, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? All right. I was sitting right next to the phone. I'll say with a grab it quick. You was waiting on me to call when you. Hey, I've got great news for you here, Brian. We've got, uh, we went ahead and got that oil changed and we uh, went ahead and did your inspection, looked over everything. Um, looks like your air filter looks real good. Looks like um, all your belts and that are really good. Now, we did top your fluids off. Um, what I am going to recommend that we do today is uh, a little bit of brake bait, a little bit of brake maintenance for you um, on the front. Um, that's going to run you $99. We're going to resurface the rotors and put new pads on there. So how's that sound to you? Uh, sounds reasonable enough. Actually, 99 bucks. I could do that. Sure. Absolutely. All righty. That sounds great. Now, Brian, we, as soon as we get you done, uh, I will uh, come pick you up and then we will uh, we'll go have us a beer down at the uh, <laughs> old water hole. <laughs> ah, that'll, that'll work. All righty. Thank you now. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> great job, Todd. Here's one of them. I'm going to coach you a little bit, too, buddy. I, I wish I could do that. OK, listen. Uh, <laughs> When you get to that down here at the bottom, again, this is our practice area down here at the bottom. I'll circle it right here. Okay. All right. You see that? Yeah. Okay. What I want to do is, I don't want to recommend. I, I know we do it all the time, guys. Like I told you earlier in, in the call, I'm guilty of it too. But I'm breaking my habits, and I'm breaking them for a good reason. I'm breaking them because I know the power and what you see in front of you. And we, Hey, Brian, this is what I want to do. Okay, I want to go ahead and take care of that today. Okay, and the reason is this reason right here. Okay, I want to do that because of this. And when I get done, you're going to have a great whatever. It's going to be, you're not going to have to do anything for a long time. Okay, and give him all the reasons and then say, hey, and by the way, it's only going to be this amount of money down to the penny. It's only going to be this amount of money. And another bit of good news is I can still get it done by three o'clock today. Now, would okay. you? Want me to come and get you when I'm done, or would you like to come and pick it up? Okay. See, that choice closed down there at the bottom is, is, is no different than, hey, would you like to come in right now or at 1 o'clock? I have a no-wait appointment right now, or I could get you at 1 o'clock. Which one would you prefer? Okay. Now, when you got down there, you said, how does that sound to you? Okay. Now, no doubt it sounded great, okay, to him. But how much more powerful would it have been if you just took control of that whole bottom section, that conversation for action, and you didn't actually ask him anything or comment anything. You just took it and charged with it straight to this is what I want to do. This is why I want to do it. I'm going to have it done by this time. I can come and get you when I'm done. Or you can come and pick it up at that time. Which one would you prefer? And shut up. Don't say anything. And he's going to say, oh, that sounds great. Okay, I got you covered then. I'll see you, sir. Bye. Boom. Gone. Done. Okay, now, is it that simple? Yeah, you've done it. You've done it that way. I know you have. Um, everybody on this call has made those calls, but do we do it consistently is the question. I think the, hey, ahead, hey Randy, I think I want, what I want to do is a confidence thing that, that we may be lacking on. And, and you, this is a great session by the way, but, um, the, I, I recommend and, and how does that sound to you is those are, that's what we've had to go on. Right. So that's why we're using it. But those are indecisive things. Uh, what I want to do is I've got your business already. I've got your car. I'm assuming the sale. Uh -huh. You're, you're going to do this with me. So that that's the difference, in my opinion, is that, that what I want to do is the, the whole difference in the confidence level that we have their business. And we're taking care of them. We don't have to worry about if they're shopping around for somebody else to take care of them, this is what I'm going to do for you. So great, 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 great session. Great, great, great. I'm going to let everybody go here, but listen, what if you put it in? Hey, listen, Brian, being your car guy, I want to do this, this, and this. And the reason is this, this, and this, and I'll have all that done. Believe it or not, I'll have it done by three o'clock this afternoon. Okay. And then I can come and pick you up, or you can come and pick it up when you get ready. Whatever, you, what, what, which one do you prefer? Okay, you could go about it that way, and, and and it still is very positive. There's nothing negative there. So, y'all take this and practice it today. Don't put your book under the counter. Okay, sure. don't put the paperwork under the counter. 
leave it out when you or pull it out and have it there when you're making a call back. I don't care if it's something as simple as a tail light bulb. Okay. And telling the customer you found a tail light bulb out. Okay, in your inspection. Use this approach. Get it in your bones. Let's have fun with it and watch what happens. Okay. So that's my coaching today, guys. Great call. Everybody that answered, everybody that came on. Uh I really, really appreciate you being here. Uh, I hope everybody got something out of this and we're going to continue to practice callback because I think this is our next big power move that we have going forward. Okay. So anybody come, come back, tell everybody that didn't, that wasn't here. That's going to be training today to come in and let's have some fun with it. Okay. Thanks guys. Y'all have a good day. Y'all have a good day. We'll see you Randy. All right. Thanks, thank Randy. Bye. Thanks, Randy. Bye. Bye. Bye everybody. Bye.